Hello dear students, how are you? Today in this video, we are going to discuss question number 11, which is from exercise 17.2, quartiles, class 10. So dear students, in this question, we are going to discuss how to find the third, how to find the value of missing frequency when the value of third quartile is given. So let's go to question number 11. So dear students, according to question number 11, the Q3, Q3 means the third quartile. The third quartile of the given data is 60, find the value of P. So this is in this question we are given the value of third quartile that means Q3, Q3 is equal to 60 and we have to find out the value of P. This is the given data is continuous series. We are given class interval and frequency. The class intervals are 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80 and their corresponding frequencies are given 3, 5, 4, 5, 4, P and 3. So this means we have to find the value of P which is the missing frequency which is the frequency of the class interval 60 to 70. So this means let's go to the solution of question number 11. At first we have read on given the value of Q3. The value of Q3 that means the third quartile of the given data is 60 and we have to find the value of P. The value of P means the frequency of the missing frequency of the class interval 60 to 70. So this is first we have to make table. Already I have made table so that we can save the time. So let's discuss how to get the value of P. So this means first we have to make table. In the table first we have to write down class interval. In the first column, we have to write the class interval. In the second column, we should write the corresponding frequency. And in the third column, we have to find the value of CF. CF means cumulative frequency. Dear students, in previous video, already in question number 10, we have discussed how to find the value of CF. So dear students, let's find out the value of CF at first. 10 to 20, frequency is 3. 20 to 30 is frequency 5. 30 to 40 is 4. 40 to 50 is 5. 40 to 50 is 5. 50 to 60 is 4. 60 to 70, frequency is P. 7 to 80 frequency 3 and the total number of the sum of frequency which is also called the total number of items. So this means when we take the sum of frequency 3 plus 5 8, 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 5 17, 17 plus 4 22, 22 plus 17 plus 4 21, 21 plus p we get 21 plus p and 21 plus p plus 3 we get 24 plus p. So this means the sum of frequency that means the total number of items of the given data is 24 plus p. Dear students, now let's find out value of CF. In order to find the value of CF, the first frequency we keep as it is. Then we take the successive, we take the sum of the frequency successively. That means the successive addition of frequency is called CF. So dear students, the first frequency and first CF, they are same. So 3 plus 5, 8, we add first frequency with the same frequency. Then again first, second, third like this. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 4 is 21, 21 plus P. 21 plus P, 21 plus P plus 3, we get 24 plus P. So this means the total number of items, that means sum of frequency must be equal to the value of last year. The value of last year represents the sum of frequency, that means the total number of items of the given data. So this means we are given the value of Q3, is equal to 60, and we have find the value of P. So the given data is continuous series. So first, we have to use the formula of Q3 class. This means the third quarter class of continuous series data is 3n by 4th item. So 3 as it is, the value of n, we put 24 plus P and divide by 4. 3 into 24, we get 72. 3 into P, we get 3P and divide by 4. So this is for the easy calculation. We divide 72 by 4 and 3 by 4. That means 72 divided by 4, we get 18. And 3 divided by 4, we get 0 0.75. And P is identity. So this is by this formula of third quarter class, we get the size of quarter, uh, the size of third quarter class, 18 plus 0 0.75P. But we cannot get the size of Q3 class because the value of P is unknown. So we'll keep this term as it is. This is now in order to find Q3 class, we have to take the help of third quartile. So whenever the value of third quartile is given, then to find the quartile class, we have to take the help of the value of third quartile. So this is the value of third quartile is 60. So let's look at the class interval. 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, 50 to 60. The number Q3 is equal to 60. The value of third quartile is 60 doesn't lie in the class 50 to 60, in the class interval 50 to 60, because in case of continuous series, always the upper limit is excluded. So we have to go to the next class interval. The next class interval is 60 to 70. That means Q3 lies in the class interval 60 to 70. So this means Q3 lies in the class 60 to 70. That means the third quarter class of the given data is 60 to 70. The value of Q3, which is 60, lies in the class interval 60 to 70. So this means now let's use the formula of third quarter. In case of Continuous series, the formula of third quartile is calculated by using the formula Q3 is called L plus 3N by 4 minus C of by F into I. So this says the formula of Q3 is L plus 3N by 4 minus C of by F into I. So now by putting the values of respective terms, we'll get the value of P. That means we'll get the frequency of the class interval 670. Let's put the value of each term. Q3 is 60. So we can put the value of third quartile 60. 
the value of lower limit. L means the lower limit. This means L is the lower limit of the quartet class. That means here third quartet class. So already we have found third quartet class. So L means 60. L is the value of lower limit of the third quartet class. Now 3n by 4. The value of 3n by 4 already we have calculated, which is equal to 18 plus 0.75p. So dear students, the value of L is 60, which is the lower limit of third quartet class. The value of 3n by 4. The value of 3n by 4 is 18 plus 0.75p. And minus CF. The value of CF. CF we have to take the C of just above the third quarter class. This means our quarter class is 6 to 70. But we have to take the C of just above the quarter class. That means third quarter class. So we have to take the C of of the class 50 to say 60, which is just above the class 6 to 70. So this means in the formula, C of is the value of the C of just above the quarter class. So our quarter class, that means third quarter class is 6 to 70. And we have to take the C of just above the quarter class. That means we have to take the value of C of 21, which is the C of of the quarter C of of the class which is just above the third quarter class. So this means while taking the value of C of we have to take C of just above the quarter class. That means the value of C of is 21 and frequency. The value of frequency is the frequency of the quarter class. So the value of frequency of the third quarter class is P. So we'll put the value of frequency of is equals to P. Then I, the value of I, I means the size of class interval. So this means the third quarter, the third quarter class is C to 70. So 70 minus 60, that means if we take the difference between upper limit and lower limit of the third quarter class, then we'll get the size of class interval. So 70 minus 60 is 10, which is the size of third quarter class. Now, so we'll do simple calculations, 60 minus 60. So this number 60, we'll move to left hand side, 60 minus 60 will be equal to zero. And uh, plus, 20, plus 89 minus 21, we can do addition and subtraction. 0.75p as it is, because this unlike term. Plus minus, we have to do subtraction, that means minus. And the greater number is 21. So 21 minus 18, we get minus 3. And P as it is and 10 as it is. Dear students, now 60 minus 60 is equal to 0. And other terms we keep as it is. Now 0 into P by crisscross. That means by cross multiplication, 0 into P, we get 0. And other terms we keep as it is. Now 10. 10 is in the product form. So if we move 10 to the left hand side, then 10 will divide 0, 0 by 10. We get 0 and 0 0.75 minus 3 as it is. So dear students, we have find the value of P. That means minus 3, we have to move. To the left hand side. So if we move minus 3 to the left hand side, then minus 3 will be plus 3. Now the value of P is 3 divided by 0 0.75, which is equal to 4. So this means when we divide 3 by 0 0.75, then we get the value of P is equal to 4. That means the value of the frequency, the value of the missing frequency of the class interval 6 to 70 is equal to 4. So this is the required solution. So this means before we end this, if before we end this video, let's uh, once again review the method, the process we have used to find the value of unknown frequency. Dear students, we are given continuous series and uh, we have we are also given the value of Q3 and we have to find the value of P. So this students, first we make table, then find the value of N and the value of C of. Then we use the formula of Q3 class, the formula of Q3 class 3N by 4, since the value of P is unknown. So we cannot get third quarter class by using the formula 3N by 4. So whenever the value of Q3 is given, we have to take the help of the value of Q3 to find the quarter class. So we go in the C of column, we go in the table and we find out the value of Q360 in the class interval in the first column. So 60 to 60 lies, 60 doesn't lie in the class 50 to 60 because upper limit in case of condition is always excluded. So we take 60 to 70. So Q3 is called 60 lies in the class 60 to 70. Then we use the formula of Q3. The third quarter formula is L plus 3n by 4 minus CF by F into I. Then by putting the value of Q360 and L, L means lower limit of class and 3n by 4 value already we have calculated and CF, CF we have to take just above the quarter class, which is equal to 21. CF is 21 and frequency, we have to take the frequency of the quarter class. That means we have to take the frequency of the class 6 to 70, which is P. So we'll put the value of F P I. I means 70 minus 6 to 10, which is the size of class interval of the third quarter class. Then by simple calculation, we get the value of P. So this means the required solution of P, the required solution of this question is the value of P is equal to four, which is the missing frequency of the second class interval six to seven. So this means this is one of the most important question, which is frequently asked in different examinations of class 10 and SE examination. So this means I hope that you have understood how to find the value of unknown frequency when continuous series is given, when continuous series data is given, and the value of Q3 is given. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And again, we'll meet in the next video. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you.